Pete Clark here with the 2018 AP Computer Science A FRQ number three. In this uh, question, the string checker interface describes classes that check if strings are valid according to some criterion. So I have my public interface, <coughs> excuse me, public interface called string checker that just has one method that returns true if str is valid. And we're gonna make a code word checker, which is a string checker. So a code word checker object can be constructed with three parameters two integers, and one string. The first two parameters specify the minimum and the maximum code word lengths, respectively. And the third parameter specifies a string that must not occur in the code word. A code word checker object can also be constructed with a single parameter that specifies a string that must not occur in the code word. In this case, the default values would be six and 20 for the min and max. So here are some examples of constructors. So if I construct a code word checker, with five as a min, eight as a max, and the dollar sign as a string that must not occur. It must have a, a code must be between five and eight, inclusive, and must not include the string uh, dollar sign. So if I check and say, is happy valid? It would return true, because it's five, it's at least five long and doesn't have a dollar sign. If I have happy with a dollar sign, that's false, because it contains a dollar sign, which it must not have. If I try code, it's false because it's too short. If I try happy code, it's false because it's too long. And then the second example, just has passed, no numbers, no five or eight, but I know that it's gonna be six and 20 instead. So if I have my pass, that's fine, because it's at least six long. My passport is, too, or is wrong because it contains pass. Notice the first one has a capital pass versus this one has a lowercase pass. This string object only has lowercase pass. So the first one works, whereas the second one does not work. If uh, is happy valid? No, because it's too short. Remember, the minimum is six in this case, in the default case. And if I have a trillion or whatever that is, that's too long, longer than 20. So those are the examples. And it says just to write the code word checker class. And it must meet all specifications and conform to all examples. So right away, I know just how to start it is that it is a string checker. String checker is an interface. So when I create my uh, class over here in Replit on the right, I'm gonna say public class code word checker. That's normal, but then I have to use the keyword implements. Implements, implements that string checker. And then right away, I know it has three things, two integers and a string. So I have a first integer, or I'll just say, or it should be private, int min, and then private, if I can type int max. And then the third thing is a string. So it's also private, I'll keep it up with everything else, private string, and I'll call it forbidden. This is a string that is forbidden that the code word cannot have. Okay, so that's my, those are my instance variables, min, max, and forbidden, forbidden, forbidden. Next thing I have to do is create the constructor, public code word checker. I'm just gonna match the min, match the max, and match that string. You can use different words or file variable names, but because I use the same variable names, I want to use the keyword this min to reference the top variable. So this min references the instance variable at the top, whereas the min on the right references the min from the parameter. So even if you choose, if you, even if you chose different variable names, the one on the left is the one in the instance variable list up top. The one on the right should be the ones from their parameters. I do the same thing for the other two variables. If I can spell it right this time. Okay, that looks good. So there's my constructor. That's a constructor where I'm given two numbers and a string. So now I still have to do another constructor. with just a string. So in this case, there are two constructors. Um, 
one with the two numbers and one without two numbers. But I still need to set up the two numbers. So I say the minimum is six and the maximum is 20 according to the directions over um, here, six and 20. And then I do the forbidden the same way. And yes, I can copy and paste it um, on the computer, but on the AP exam, you're not allowed to, well, you can't copy and paste because you're writing it out with a pencil or a pen. So forbidden, make sure everything's spelled the same. So those are my two constructors with the two different lists of parameters. Okay, and I would be done, except I know that if I go back up to the first page, no, the top of this page, top of this page, the interface string checker must have this one method right here. Boolean is valid. That's the point of an interface is to make sure all the child class that implement it use the, or implement those methods as well. So I'm gonna say public is valid, public Boolean is valid. And I'm just gonna match it exactly what's written up here, except to add a, add a public in front and brackets instead of semicolon. So I'm just matching what the interface has right there with my answer down here. And now I have to say, what do I have to say? Um, I have to check if the code length is invalid. So if um, the str if it's less than the min or the um, stir dot length is greater than max. So if it's out of bounds, if the lengths are not good, it's not a valid code. So if the length of the string I'm checking is too small or too big, it's false. Okay, second one is if the code finds so index of the forbidden string. So to check a string to see if another string is inside, I use the index of method. So is this uh, string, the forbidden string, have a valid index? So to see if it's valid, I do greater than or equal to zero, or I could do not equal to negative one. But if it is not valid, So if it is found, yes, there we go. So if it's found, I'll return false. So if the forbidden word is in there, that's no good. I wanna say it's not a valid code. And then when I'm done, that's everything else, so I just return true. And so don't forget, you have to have the implements keyword up top, create your instance variables. Instance variables must match the parameter list in one of the constructors. Use a keyword this on the left, especially if you're using the same variable names, that's fine, but you must use the keyword this. Default constructor, I'm still using the same structure I did above, but instead of min and max parameters, I just have six and 20 according to the directions. And then the forbidden is the same. Checking to see if it's valid. I'm given a string to check if the length of that string is too small or the length of that string is too large, it's not valid. If that string contains the keyword forbidden, if the index is found, so negative, or greater than zero, greater than equal to zero, so it's a valid index, that means I found it. So like just like the uh, passport, it's found, so it's false. And then everything else is true. So that's the 2018 AP Computer Science A FRQ number three.